Iron Cupcake Milwaukee is a local baking challenge that basically started between me and a chef uh, from a local restaurant as a smackdown between friends. Really, just two people, a couple buds, and some really gross wasabi cupcakes. <laughs> but as I blogged about them, people read about it and wanted to either eat the cupcakes or be a baker. My first challenge, I think there were six of us, maybe, that actually baked. Just a bunch of people hanging out eating cupcakes. We went quickly from 40 people to 100 to we've had almost 400 at our high point. Almost every single time that we do it, it's just double and double and double and double. You walk in and see, oh my gosh, cupcakes everywhere. It's kind of an adrenaline rush. I don't sleep. I stay up till 3, 4 in the morning. You know, sometimes you come up with plan A and you're at plan Z by the time you get here. Each baker brings 12 dozen mini cupcakes. It's $10 to get in, and everyone's a judge. You get to taste up to 10 cupcakes, and then you have a digital voting system where you can text message by phone, and we announce the winners for best taste, best display, and then we also have other ways for the bakers to win, like the celebrity judge choice, the local business's choice, and the queen's choice, and the queen being me, because I'm the Milwaukee Cupcake Queen. You get the queen sucker, you can keep it. Every month there's a theme. Uh, we've had everything from cheese and wasabi to bacon and candy cupcakes. Bailey's Irish cream cupcake. The brownie is the burger and then all the toppings. The double malted chocolate cupcake. You name it, we've probably had a cupcake of it. And then we also have introduced a charitable angle to Iron Cupcake, which is for every ticket that we sell, we donate a dollar to a local small nonprofit who can benefit from a smaller donation. I started getting emails from people asking, how can I do that in my city? And starting in San Francisco, they got uh, all of their information from me, and now they actually started their own chapter of Iron Cupcake. There are now 13 or 14 different cities around the world, UK, Canada, and the US. And then I developed a digital challenge and called it Iron Cupcake Earth. We had over 500 bakers from 27 different countries who were participating every month. We've gotten a ton of coverage, and it has actually opened some fun experience doors for me. I've twice been flown to New York City, uh, once by 1-800-Flowers, and I was part of Kelly's Cake Off for a Cure. It was a, an event with Kelly Rippa and cake boss Buddy Velastro from TLC to benefit ovarian cancer research. Karen Tack and Alan Richardson, the best-selling authors of Hello Cupcake and What's New Cupcake, were our challenge judges in May of 2010. That was a huge opportunity for all of our bakers to meet them and learn from them. Cupcakes in general are a piece of modern pop culture now and I have totally embraced it. I wear a necklace that has about 10 different cupcake charms on it. I have a cupcake tattoo. My license plate says Cupcake Queen. I'm very proud of what Iron Cupcake has become and I would love to see it grow even more. It's amazing how this city with no cupcake shops was dying to have something to do with this cupcake phenomenon that had reached its way around the world.